All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakakradash, the warnest to the elder apostles of Great Millstone, and salutation and much love to you, Akim out there pushing out his word and truth and sincerity. And um, pretty much, I uh, just want to do a quick video. Let me see the name of the title. If you can't get it, we're moving on. All right, like uh, Paul Tahar said, you know, we're not we're not debating anymore. All right, you know. If you can't, if you truly can't get it, then you know we're not wasting any time on you, all right? Because ultimately, the Lord don't want you to get it, all right? Here it is in 2020. If you can't see that the mark of the beast is the RFID chip, all right? Then you know we have nothing to talk about. You either get it or don't. That's that's that is no um, of no effect unto us, all right? You know we're not here debating about you know the new moons is the Sabbath or. Or the full is the full. No, man, we're not we're not debating about when the Passover is. All right, we've debated years ago about it. All right, and now it's we, we know who got the truth. All right, because when you're debating, you're trying to prove who got the truth. Well, at this point, we know who has the truth. All right, so we're not debating. We're just teaching, edifying, and prophesying. All right, so I just want to get into these scriptures here to prove why we we know we're. We understand why you can't get it and why we're gonna move why we're gonna move on. Alright, continue to teach. This is Saint John uh, chapter six. I'm gonna start at uh, <clears throat> verse five, and he said, Therefore say it said I unto you that no man come unto me except if it were given unto him of my father. So ultimately no man can come unto you, Howell Shy, and serve him in truth and in, in, in sincerity, all right, in the correct doctrine. Unless the Father have sent you unto Yahweh Shai, okay? Just like in John 17, it's, it tells you about those that were given unto Yahweh Shai. Well, if you're not part of that number, guess what? You ain't going to get it. So that's why we understand that a lot of the majority of the, these uh, uh, Israelites are people that are uh, men, women, and children. Well, the men and women call themselves Israelites. All right, a lot of them ain't going to get it. We understand that. All right? And then to two-thirds, obviously... Uh, that, that that never you know complete scoffers. They don't call themselves Israelites. They call themselves black or or Puerto Rican or whatever they call themselves. They're clearly not going to get it. But these these uh, people that call themselves Israelites, a lot of them weren't even chosen. All right. Like I said, many are called, few are chosen. All right. Ultimately, the whole nation is called, but what? Only a few are chosen. All right. And you can't choose to serve Yahweh Shai. He has to choose you. All right. John 15 verse 16 says, "Ye have not chosen me." But I have chosen you and ordained you that you should go and bring forth fruit. So a lot of you guys, you know, the fruit you do have is rotten fruit. Okay. It's not fruit meat for repentance. Okay. But the ones that are chosen, they're going to, they're going to bring forth fruit. Okay. Ones that are meat for repentance and ultimately lead them to you. How shy. All right. Because the Lord uses men to bring you unto him. But what? You have to go through Yahweh Shai to get to Yahweh, the Heavenly Father. But what? You, you're going to hear this word by men, okay? That were inspired by Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, Wahawah Chakradash, the Holy Spirit, okay? But those are chosen men, okay? The, the chosen men are going to be the ones to teach this word correctly and directly, 100%, okay? It says that you should go and bring forth fruit and that your fruit should remain. That whatsoever ye shall ask of the Father in my name, he may give it unto you. All right. So, again, the ones that are chosen are the ones that are going to correctly teach his doctrine and understand it. Okay. If you can't understand it, if you can't perceive it, well, then that's that's between you and the Heavenly Father. The Lord don't want you to perceive it or understand it. Okay. But um, for, um, to those that are, that are chosen... All right, it's it's very plain and simple. We don't need to we don't need to debate about it. All right, we get it instantly. He clicks in us because what does say? Uh, 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 education means to draw out or to bring out. All right, so this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding is in us, and the, it's just got to be brought out. Okay, this is a uh, Sirach, um, thirty nine, verse twenty four says, as as his ways are plain unto the holy. So these 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 scriptures, all right, these uh the breakdowns, all right, the understanding is plain unto the unto the holy, the ones that are chosen. So are they stumbling blocks unto the wicked? So a lot of these things that are plain and very simple unto us, you know, Lord's will be part of that number of, of the elect, 
it's it's stumbling blocks unto uh the the what they say uh un stumbling blocks into the wicked so if you can't get it it's most likely because you're wicked okay and you're trying to sow discourse you're trying to uh, uh teach for strife and envy okay you're trying to just make a name for yourself because ultimately you weren't chosen all right but it's very plain and simple to us all right these scriptures is is uh you know again i said it uh it's in us man it's always been in us and then the lord just drawing it out of us all right that's why it's so simple unto us let's see what the precept says so there's not even okay anyway let's 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 move on so again it's very simple unto the holy and that's why we're moving on if you if the, if the wicked can't get it you know what we're moving on we're not losing sleep a lot of you guys lose sleep over us man I'm trying to go back and forth with us on the comment boards you, you do do you know all kind of videos on us you know we, yeah we'll defend the gospel that's one thing for sure but we're not going back and forth with you all right we got better things to do such as prophesy all right this is uh, um matthew chapter 13 and uh 10 i'll start at nine this is matthew saint matthew 13 and nine who hath ears to hear let him hear and the disciples came and said unto him why speakest thou unto them in parables so the, the disciples themselves were like, man, well, Lord, why are you why are you speaking to these people in parables? And, and and this is what the Lord replied with. Verse 11, he answered and said unto them, because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. But unto them, it is not given. So what the, the, the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven were meant for the, the chosen. All right. The, the holy, which is going to be simple unto them. But what? Since it's being spoken into in, in parables unto the rest. All right, it's gonna be a stumbling block because then remember, like just like uh, when the Lord said you you gotta be born again, that was very simple. All right, but it was a stumbling block unto those that, that it wasn't meant for. Okay, when the Lord was speaking these parables, it would it would go over people's heads. Okay, why? Because it wasn't meant for them. Just like a lot of these uh, breakdowns, uh, the doctrine of Yahweh Bashim Shai, which Great Millstone teaches, all right, the 100% truth, is a stumbling block, and it goes over people's heads, because it's not meant for them. The Lord doesn't want you to get it, all right? It's a parable unto you. So let's go to same book, Matthew chapter 4, verse 11. Salakia. Oh, Salakia. <clears throat> Mark, I meant Mark. Pretty much the same account, but he uh, Mark worded it a little differently here. You'll see. Uh, this is Mark 4 and 11. It says... Okay, well, let me go to 10. It says, And when he was alone, they that were about him with the twelve asked him of the parable. And he said unto them, Unto you it is given to know the mystery of the kingdom of the Most High, but unto them that are without... All these things are done in parables. So them that are without, without what? The house of David, all right? The, the spiritual temple, the spiritual temple that we're building, okay? It's only for those that are uh, 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 chosen, right, at this point in time, all right? The rest that, that are without is, is spoken unto them in parables so that they can understand it, so that they can't come in, so that they can't convert and be healed, okay? So that they can't repent, okay? And again, if you, if, hey... If you got a problem with it, take it up with the Most High. He 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 set it up like that. Okay, so let's go back to uh, let's go back to Matthew thirteen, and I'm uh, gonna start at thirteen. It says therefore speak I to them in parables, because they see and see not, and hearing they hear not, neither do they understand. So that's why the Lord spake to them in parables, man. Because they regardless, they're not gonna be able to see. All right, they're not gonna be able to hear, understand, okay, perceive this this wisdom, and this is why, uh, as it was prophesied, verse fourteen, and in them is fulfilled the prophecy of Isaiah, which saith, "By hearing ye shall hear, and shall not understand; and seeing ye shall see, and shall not perceive." So this was prophesied in the book of Isaiah, uh, the sixth chapter, okay. The Lord don't want you to get it, and it, he, just like He didn't want you to get it when the prophets. All right, like uh, like Jeremiah, all right, uh, uh, Isaiah, Ezekiel, when they would prophesy unto you, you wouldn't understand either. Because what? The Lord has blinded you generation after generation. All right? The lot, the prophets come back in their lots, just like you bug outs come back in your lots, man. All right? For, verse 15. For this people, for this people's heart is wax gross, 
and their ears are dull of hearing, and their eyes they have closed, lest at any time they should see with their eyes, and hear with their ears, and should understand with their heart, and should be converted, and I should heal them, all right? So the Lord don't want you to be healed, all right? He don't want you to be converted. He don't want you to understand. That's why he said that he, he uh, your eyes are closed, your ears are, are, are dull, your heart is wax gross. I mean, okay, verse 16, but blessed are your eyes for they see and your ears for they hear. So the what? The chosen ones. The chosen ones are the ones that understand it. Again, it is, pl it is plain unto the holy. I mean, it is simple unto the holy, man. Plain and simple. Okay, but you have to be chosen to understand these words, man. So we'll close it out on this uh, John, St. John chapter 12, verse 40. All right, John 12 and 40 says, He hath blinded their eyes and hardened their heart, that they should not see with their eyes, nor understand with their hearts, and be converted, and I should heal them. So again, ultimately, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai blinded you, all right, so that you can not see this so you can't see this all right so you can't understand these truths all right so you're bugging out over the breakdowns because what you can't see it it's a stumbling block unto you okay so with that you know lord's will this is edifying don't sweat over it if somebody can't get it <laughs> they just move on the lord just wants them to be ignorant all right the scriptures say let the ignorant be ignorant hey you tell them once you tell them twice Hey, if you if hey, you can even tell them thrice, all right, three times. Hey, if they can't get it and you continue to beat them over the head with it, you're just wasting your time at that point. It's like beating a dead uh, uh, horse. You, you're trying to get the horse to move, but it's dead. All right, they're spiritually dead. They're not going to understand this. All right, so with that, shalom.